And hello guys, welcome to the Season 2 Inner Sidepack Series, Chase Race number 6 here at M&M's. After this race, we only got 4 races left. We passed the halfway mark, time to get some drivers eliminated from the chase hoops. Michael Wallen on the pole is not a chaser. Noah Hart's second, third, Zach Hoffsnyder, fourth, Tyler Iris, the highest running chaser. Fifth is Alan Smith, sixth, John Dillon, seventh, Seth Cole, eighth, Stephen Dillon. 10th, Gene Sarfox, and your previous race winner, Aaron Williams, also a chaser, starting 9th. Big thing for Sarfox here is he's only got a one-point advantage over to Max. We'll show you the rest of the starting lineup, and where is the Max? Wow, all the way in 40th position is using the Max, so... Should be interesting there as uh, we got plenty of time here. Let's take a look at your um, chase field. Um, presented by Outback Steakhouse. Like I said, Sorfox and uh, the Max are the top two. And then after that, there's a big gap though, but the next two would be Anthony Amory and Eric Burton. And we'll see how those two drivers will do. Burton was doing good in practice, even though he's a bad qualifying ever, and Emery, well, close with him. And then, um, then you got, I believe from what I'm reading, it says Sam B is next, and then Alan Smith, and then Tyler Everest, and then Joseph Bryant. Yeah, so there's guys right there, that's looking good, but drivers like Austin Ogo, and, um, a few others, even like Cody Lamas, Dylan Posey, Justin Talentas, they really need a good run, otherwise their championship hopes are over. Biggest one, Austin Ogo, where is he at? Dead last in the chase points. There he is. Well, there he is, though. Starting about midfield in the inside, hopefully he does not fall on the outside. Chase car dies down the pit road. 17 laps of action. Here we go. Green flag is out at M&M's. Now the cup race that we actually did first, their problem was on the back stretch. Turn two. Well, here we did some practice with Nationwide, and, well, it's been as late last year. Turn four, that's the issue. So we're going to keep an eye on turn two, back stretch, and turn four. Those are the major issues that these drivers have. So they got to be really careful here. And already four wide for the lead. But now Seth Cole all the way in the inside. And look at this. It's go time is what it is. And look at this. Hoff Schneider on the, in the middle as well as Alan Smith, a chaser there. And now the cars are going to slide up. And look at St. Here comes Dylan Posey, three wide with Seth Cole. And now they're going to go four wide. And, oh, looks like they're going to keep it clean through first lap. And Jackson Emery hit the wall. And he's going to lose some ground on the leaders, and there's the Max. He's made his way down low. He's trying to hunt down the number one, Gene Sorfox. I'm sorry if I'm paying attention to him too much, but he's your championship points leader. And Seth Cole's in the wall, and whoa, there's a wreck. Whoa, what the fuck? Posey, oh, John Dillon, Aaron Williams, previous race winner, involved. Seth Cole, Stephen Dillon, Randy Carver. Caution lights are waving, but now it's somebody that can be careful. Austin Ogo's actually in the lead. Lindsey Johnson, Anthony Emery, Justin Talpass are all four wide. This is where they got to be careful here. Ooh, oh, go. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Right in front of the point leader. There they go. Big wreck. Big wreck. Danny Wells flipping. Trevor Jackson flipping. Wildly over the pit wall. Oh, Silver Fox over the... Whoa. Silver Fox flipping over. Jackson lands on four wheels. Silver Fox now is rolled over in the infield. Silver Fox flipped over in the infield. Walton involved with damage. Trying to find the leader. Leader is Eric Burton. This is big for him. There's Stephen Dillon. There's uh, Dom Caps, Carpenter, Wells, Emery. We saw him involved. Alex Jones, Jacob Waller, Trevor Jackson, Jason Matchmore. There's. Silver Fox, good thing for him, he's okay. Williams involved, John Dillon, Tyler Everest. Ah, oh, Cody Lamas, Chaser, he's he's done, he's smoking. And now they're backing up, Noah Hart's involved. Dylan Posey with damage, Mike Newman, Lindsey Johnson. Oh my 
God, that was a big ass break. Nicholas Garrett, they got a piece of it as well. And a big break for Austin Nogo. This is really going to help him. He really needs this run. And look at this. We're going to have a new points leader, and that's going to be the name of Eugene Max, who's in seventh. As we can tell, James Starfox, he is out of the race. Oh, man, that was a violent wreck. We're going to look at our caution, and then we're going to look at our incident off turn number four. So let's take a look what happened. All right, let's look around the Alan Smith area here. Something went wrong. I don't know where. Oh, Dylan Young, we got to look back on him. Yeah, he's not in a good spot. He's all the way in the high side. And I guess, oh, they were going about five, six wide. Closed in on Seth Cole, and there they go. And, oh, man, just look at the cars. Look at Alan Smith get airborne there, and he keeps it on all together. But we're going to find the second gear. You'll probably see him in a moment. But, oh, no, don't tell me someone's going to hit it. Oh, oh, no, don't do it. Oh. Car flipping, that's Seth there. Oh man, I don't know how they're avoiding it. I kind of wonder if he's in the. Oh, whoa, whoa! Right. Holy crap, the 70 had a blowover. Whoa, holy shit. Young caps. Well, he was all the way in the back. Take a look in this can here. I think this is a good can you can see. Yeah, all the cars are wrecking there. We're just looking at Don Caps real quick. Uh, Pokey, another chaser. He gets involved. There's Newman, Sosnowski. I see Lawler in the picture. He's going to get involved, but I don't know how no one hit that wall there at the end of it. Oh, wow, I was barely avoided. Oh, Qual or, I almost said Qual Caps. Oh, he just gets into stuff there and then. Oh, Seth just helps make him airborne. That's a huge blow over right there. And oh my God, he had some airtime. And oh, he takes a nose dive there. And he's, I, I think he's gonna land on his four wheels. Or I think he does. Yeah, he does. Oh my God, that just, oh man. And then Stephen Dillon, we also saw Noah Hart. Don't love it. All these guys, I believe, made it through, but... Oh, God, that's just a violent wreck there. We're going to take a few onboards, especially with this guy here. Take a look what happened. This is odd. Okay, Seth's hitting the wall. He's just... He's stuck in the wall. Oh, it looks like the 09. Oh, my God, Aaron Williams. Oh, Carpenter just slams on John Doe. Town pass forces John and Stephen Dillon both into the uh, outside wall. And Aaron Williams, oh man, he's going to tumble. And I think his game might be over too. Tough race for the person who won the last race. And wow, that's just a bummer. He, so we had a few cars, but tumble. The good news for Williams, though, because he did land on four wheels. Yeah, there he is right there. And Pokey there. Where's Matchmore? Yeah, Matchmore forced them up and. There's Matchmore right up there, so. Tough race for the 54 team. John Dillon there. There's Seth. Oh, he tried to avoid John. He runs into him. Pokey was involved as a chaser, but I think he's going to be okay. And he really needed a good run. That's not going to help. Oh, uh, man, that's just a bummer. Now, let's take a look what happened with... Silverbox and a few others. We're going to go with them right now. And oh boy. Oh, look at this. This is not a good spot. Gardner Wells. I knew this spot here was not going to look good. And look at this. Oh, Gardner brings up Wells and right in front of the pack. Look at Talent Pass just. Oh, he gets slightly tapped, but he keeps going. Okay, we're going to look at Silverbox first and then we're going to look at. Oh, Sam D plowed into him there. That's not good. Sam D just. Trying to look for a good one. Man, he just plowed into Silver Fox. Man, there was four cars that probably flipped. Three of them in here. And Lamas just hit the wall hard as well. So I'm not... Uh, Lamas Everest did it. Oh, man. Just Silver Fox just rolling like crap. Oh, my God. Now, 
take a look at he's gonna have hair. This is like the Sean Henley wreck that was over in the NSRA uh, Oreo Truck Series in the season three All Star race. Look at the car, just that car is flipping, flipping the grass there, and look, look at extra bounce right on the wall, and then the extra help aliens in field, the infield. Oh my God, that was just unbelievable there. Then there's Trevor Jackson, you're saying he flipped over the pit wall. Let's go back with him real quickly, see how he flipped. Yeah, poor Trevor here. He was just trying to not be a victim right here. And yeah, Wells and Gardner were right there just on the inside. They, oh man, Trevor was the first car that they, they collected. And also the Silver Fox, there's Emery. Oh man, Emery went airborne too. There's Matchmore. He flipped. There's Wells. Oh man, just about five cars that flipped in two wrecks. Four in one. Well, Alex just could not avoid Trevor. And look at Dylan Love. I, he just tried to avoid it. And I can't believe how he did it too. And oh man, oh my god. And look at this. I don't know how no one hit that wall. Look at this. Oh, Danny just missed it. Yeah, Trevor just. Death hold majorly. Big break though for Dylan Bosa. He got slightly involved in that previous track and now he worked his way through the crowd there. But man, that's just something you don't want to see. And the good news for Trevor, he is okay, even though for pit crew, you know, that's a scary thing to see. But oh boy. Caution is out for the first time. A lot of cars involved. Take you back to the green as Eric Burden leads us. All right, pace car gives one left to go. I'm sorry we're not live, but Eric Burden is your leader. Charles Jackson second, Sean Gallagher third, fourth Justin Talentpass, fifth Johnny Gardner sixth, Josh Heap seventh Eugene to Max eighth Jake Williams ninth Dylan Lovett and right about then that is Alan Smith. Or wait a minute, oh what happened? In, well, Alan Smith is now tenth, but coming up in the ninth. Um, we don't know who it is. Um, green flags out. And here is Eric Burton, Charles Jackson, Sean Galgan with a three car head start. And then they're going four wide for fourth. I'm surprised they're seeing that. Look at this. Demax trying to get every point possible. He is the new points leader. But, you know, drivers like Eric Burton, Justin Talonpass, Alan Smith, Joseph Bryant, um, Luke Walker. Who else that's there as a chaser? Even Austin Ogo could really use a good run so they can catch up to the points. Like, Posey just got taken out. And the caution's out. That's a, I don't know what happened there. And Charles is going to lead it down. Something happened to Dylan Posey. He just got taken out. Where is he at? There he is. He's on pit road. Oh man, that's a tough break. Chaser there. It's 22nd, but oh man, that's not going to help. And you know, we were only here for 17 laps, and this, you know, now Charles Jackson's the leader. Caution's out for the second time. Let's take a look what happened to Dylan Posey. All right, take a look at this. This is weird. Posey's just minding his own business, just trying to, you know, keep going, and then all of a sudden. Noah Hart's going to come to the picture right there, and watch what Noah Hart does. He tries to go low, and I guess Posey tried to block, and he's just going to take out Dylan Posey, and just, man, he takes a hard hit to the wall. I think his car is smoking, and his day's over. I can't believe it. Caution it off for the second time. Let's take it back to the green. Once again, I apologize that it's not, it's not going to live, but um, your leader is Charles Jackson, second Eric Burden, third Sean Galgan, fourth Eugene Max, fifth Josh Heap, sixth Johnny Gardner, seventh William Schultz, eighth Nicholas Guerra, ninth Joseph Bryant, and right now top ten is Jackson Emery. Left through twentieth is Alan Smith, Rod Houston, Leah Walker, Kyle Sosnowski, Joseph Talpas, Dylan Young, Dylan Lovett, Zach Hoffmeyer, Luke Walker, and Jake Williams, and then the rest of the field. Austin Hooker, Mike Newman, Michael Walton, Dom Caps, Alex Jones, Seth Cole, and Noah Hart.
That is it. Dylan Pochi did retire from the race. Green flag is out. And I was going to say, when are they going to start fanning out? Well, they're doing it right now. And I don't see that 28 car fanning it out to the inside. No, he's going to stay on the high side. He will be your new points leader. We're going to have our new, a new points leader in the chase for the first time. You know, ever since race one, when William, or excuse me, I failed. Wow. When Silverfox took over the points lead with Chicago Twin. So, the Max is just having a Cinderella season. And something is wrong with the 01 car. He's getting passed with the damage cars, and he doesn't even have any damage. Something is wrong with that car. I don't know what it is. I, I guess he had damage, but I don't know how. And that's going to be a tough blow for the 01 team there. Lost the draft, and now he's stuck with the damage card. Now Charles Jackson, he's losing the draft. He hit the wall, probably. And look at this, the driver's trying to catch up. He's got a little bit of damage, but he's actually trying to get up there with a damaged car, and that's Jake Williams. And, oh, now Willem Schultz scraping the wall. That's a third car scraping the wall, and another spin. That's Josh Heath. He keeps it going. I don't know if they pulled the caution. I hope they didn't, because that would be a retarded caution. No caution. Tough break for Josh Heath. Look at first, first win. And Zach Harfschneider to the lead. This guy's just had a miserable season. He would really love a win. But the outside line, this is going to really help him here. Drag race to the stripe. Who's going to win it at the line? It's going to be Harfschneider. And now they're going to go four wide for the lead. And look at this. From Max and Jackson, I'm on onto this back. They have the best chance of winning. Johnny Garner's trying to catch up. Talent pass, Luke Walker, and even Eric Burns. They're trying to catch up, but they're losing ground on them. The Max trying to get a huge win. That would boost up the competition and lose some spots for some people there. Sean Galligan, your leader. Look at this, the 08 car. He has not won a race this season. This would definitely help him out. Here comes Joseph Bryant, the chaser in the number 87, the car that won season one. He would love to get a victory here at M&M's and show, hey, I still got a shot. Galliot's going to lead at the stripe. And now they're going to go three wide for the lead. Well, now Joseph Bryant's getting left out to dry in the middle. And now Galliot's still at the lead. Josh Schneider's moved in the second. He's got a strong car today. He could finally get a win here. This would be huge for that 33 team. we got only a few laps to go. We're on lap 11 of 17. Here comes the Max. He has just had a strong car all day. He's avoided the wrecks. He's done a well job. And there's Gardner in the in the 15. There, he's in the 11th. He's just falling back. Alan Smith trying to get a good run as well. He needs it. And now Joseph Bryant going to try to take the lead. He's got it from the 33, but the 33 is going to get the run on the high side. Will the E7 lead at the stripe? And I think he will. Yes, he will indeed. Joseph Bryant will lead at the stripe. Jackson Emery will also love a victory right now. He is not one race this season. He's had a struggling season as well in that 30 team. It would be huge for him to get that win. Sosnowski, another driver that's struggling that wants a win. And here comes Demax trying to take the lead. This is huge. Eugene Demax leads this lap. Now Alan Smith is going to go three wide for second. Here comes Alan Smith to the picture. Smith has not been up in the front of the pack this whole chase season. And he would really love to do it, but now he's losing draft. Losing ground. Now Sosnowski, he would love to get that win. This 17 just had nothing but just bad luck the first few races. And ever since then, just that 17 just can't capitalize. And Demax is going to lead that lap. That's huge. That's a chaser that's leading the lap. But Sosnowski's saying, hey, I'm going to make sure you are, you're, we're going to race you like if it's the last race of the season. But Demax having a strong car. Are they going to catch up the lap traffic? No, Josh Heap is right there. He's way off the pace with that damage. But now Dylan Young moving to second. Sosnowski trying to take that lead. He's got it. No, he doesn't. Now Dylan Young's going to go for that lead. And now Alan Smith is going to try to help along. But he's just trying to hang on there. Now the outside line's getting a good good draft. As we're on lap 13 to 17. Now Sosnowski's going to try again for the lead. He's going to go. No, Dylan Young's going to go three wide for the lead. Alan Smith is now going to try to pass Demax as this is now big. Now Demax falling to the back now. And now Gardner, he's trying to work himself to stay in the draft. And it looks like he can do it here. Take a look on that cockpit view. He is just trying to get there. You can see how close they are. And they're actually getting closer to Josh Heaps. And now what can be played for the other cars is Dylan Young takes the lead. He's literally caught up to the pack. And now he's passing Demax. So now it's an 11-car pack for the main group. Now the question is this, though. 
how much time will they have when they get to this guy here, Josh Heap? That's the last. That's the only car I think that's going to be causing a lot of problems with his damage. How will Dylan Young, Rod Houston, Zach Schneider, and they're going to catch up to him right now. Hoff Schneider, Alex Smith, wrecked in there. Dylan Young with a huge lead, and I think he's going to, I don't know if he's going to win it. I think he might. The caution's out. But Dylan Young's leading. Sosnowski's second. Third, Jackson Emery. Fourth, Sean Galligan. Fifth, Joseph Bryant, the highest running chaser. Where's the max? He's 11th. Oh my god. Wait, is he two runs? Oh, DeMax is eighth. Okay. Hoff Schneider, Alan Smith, Luke Walker involved. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, Talon Pass, Eric Burton, Rod Houston. Dylan Young, I think, might have won this race. Let's take a look what happened to bring yourselves a third and possibly our final caution of the race. Well, I don't think Zach Hofschneider is going to be really happy, and neither will be the um, the 44 or the 10. But yeah, Hofschneider tried to avoid the 31, collects the teammates, the 44 and the 10. Both take some hard hits, and I don't know how Sosnowski made it through that. That's unbelievable. The Max makes his way through. Here comes Luke Walker, Eric Burton, Justin Talpass, all right there. And I'm wondering if Hofschneider gets hit from those three. And no, Eric Burns is going to hit the 10 and same with the 39. Hard hit. Oh my god, the 10 just. He's going to go airborne. He's not going to flip, but oh man, and Luke Walker is going to run it. Oh, Josh Heap also spun out. Collects the max. Keeps it going, though. What happened to Heap? Who spun him out? Garner gave him a little contact there. Oh, Demax got him. And that's why he fell back to that solo car area there. But, wow, Josh Heap just got taken out by Eugene Demax. Demax takes a few bumps there, but he's going to keep going, though. Oh, Dylan Lovey gets a little piece. And look at all these guys that are trying to avoid it. They do a good job there. And... That's a tough break there for those chasers right there. I think a big break for Austin Oga there. He's going to get a few spots. Let's see if Dylan Young got the victory. We are looking at Dylan Young right now. He'll be picking up his first victory of the season. I know I'm not big for my driver to win it, but, you know, like they say, it happens. That 50 team... Really need a good run. He's going to finally get it. So Snosky's going to probably get second. Third, Jackson Emery. Fourth, Sean Galgan. Joseph Bryant's going to get the 14 lucky big points. 13, though, is going to go to Demax. Who's definitely going to have the points lead. With 12, this is going to be Austin Ogo. This is huge for him. He needed it. And all the rest of the drivers retired, so only three chasers finished the race. Does not look like Dylan Young's going to go down to pit road. Checker flag is out, and Dylan Young in the number 50 car is going to finish up the M&M's weekend as he's going to win chase race number six here at M&M's. He crosses the straight now, and this is a big break for Joseph Bryant. But now Eugene Max will be your new points leader, and we'll see where Silver Fox and all the others finished of the chasers. But congrats one more time to Dylan Young. Let's give you your fishing results and your chase points. I'm 8675309858 signing off, and we'll see you for chase race number seven at Kansas.